headquarters for Amazon could be coming to Indianapolis. So in their very public selection process, Amazon published a 20 city list today and Indianapolis is a finalist. Uh, we have a graphic for you. You see it here of the rest of the cities that are involved in this as well. 24 Hour News 8's Brennan Donnelly has been all around the city getting more information for us tonight. Okay, Brennan, we are hearing there were 238 original applications, so this, this is big for Indy. <laughs> Oh boy, Brooke, yes, this is big. If Amazon picks the Circle City, Indianapolis, at this new headquarters, it says it would be just as robust as Seattle is right now. So we're talking 50,000 jobs, $5 billion in construction, and billions more in community investments if they come. Very excited about this next step. It's very exciting for Indianapolis to at least get to this next phase. It's very exciting, obviously. And there are a lot of exciting aspects. Indianapolis making the short list for a huge investment. It's the single largest economic development project in our history. So we're in the top 20. What are our chances? One in 20. We're not counting uh, our chickens uh, before they hatch, but I think it shows that Indianapolis uh, has now taken on a new level. Uh, of competitiveness. Several city leaders said Indianapolis does bring an impressive package to Amazon's doorstep. Amazon can grow here in a way that they can't grow in many other places. We're a metropolitan area on the rise and, and our storyline is really compelling. We have a very business friendly climate here. We, we rank very highly on Forbes list. We were number 10 of uh, for business friendly states. I think that we simply do public private partnerships better than any other community in the country. We've got some of the best universities in the world here in our own state and we actually produce a much higher proportion of college graduates relative to our uh, population. That's one of the places which could really feel the impact. Schools who say their students leave Indy after graduation to work in the big tech cities. The opportunity to work for a global tech company and and be five miles away has got to be exciting for a lot of students. Whether we make the next cut or not, Mayor Hogsett says we've already succeeded. Every business in America probably knows the 20 names of the finalists because they, that, that's what the media has been consumed with today. Now, a Ball State economist also added an interesting perspective. He said that Indianapolis should actually be in the top three, along with Columbus and Raleigh. Those are the three smallest cities on the list. He said it's because we have the least congestion, because we're not a big city, and we're going to have more space for Amazon uh, to spread out. And I'll add one extra ingredient to the pot, guys. Delta Airlines announced on Tuesday that there will be a nonstop daily flight from Indianapolis to Seattle. Of course, that's where they're headquartered right now. So, you never know. Ah, okay, okay, okay. We're not counting our chickens, Brenna. I know, I know. But <laughs> any information, if they choose Indianapolis, where Amazon might set up shop? Oh, I wish I knew, Brooke. I did ask Mayor Hogsett that. He said he wouldn't tell. He did tell me, though, that there were several sites that they submitted to Amazon, some downtown where Amazon could grow vertically and some actually in the surrounding counties where they could grow horizontally. Again, though, he wouldn't give me an exact location, said Amazon should reveal that when they come up with our next round. We don't know when that's going to be, but Amazon does say they hope to have a final city picked this calendar year. All right, we will certainly be following it closely. Brenna, thank you.